Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ezekiel Tyrus, a noted root beer enthusiast and writer whose first novel gets published July 3rd by Hardhead Press. The name of the book is Eli Eli by Ezekiel Tyrus. That's E L I, comma E L Y. I hope everybody checks that out. But today, I am here for root beer reviews. Now, uh, this is one that. Um, I bought at a convenience store just downstairs from uh, where my girlfriend lives, and she was pretty certain that we've tried it before. I don't remember trying this one before, but I know we've never reviewed it before. So I'm pretty excited. Um, right now, uh, today's May 2nd, 2013, and the root beer that we're going to be reviewing today is Dr. Brown's Original Root Beer. Want to take a look at that? Dr. Brown's Original Root Beer. Now... I did some research on it. It says it's been around since 1869, literally invented by a guy named Dr. Brown. Uh, it's kosher. It's got a K on it. Supposedly, it's very popular, this particular brand, in both New York and South Florida in the Jewish community. You can get this at a lot of Jewish delis, delicatessens, and things like that. So that's kind of interesting. It's a, uh, the draft root beer popular with Jews. Now what's funny is, I've mentioned this before, I'll mention it again, root beer itself was actually invented by the Mormons. So it's kind of interesting. But anyway, so let's go ahead and take a sip of this baby. Uh, this is the uh, the bottle, what it looks like. I always vote on presentation. Uh, it's a good presentation. Not a great presentation, but a good presentation. It's got some little black and white picture that's hard to see even close up. It appears to be a uh, depiction of early 20th century people playing golf or cricket or something. Who the hell knows? But here, let's go give it a trace. Let that taste. Oh, yeah. Okay, it smells good. Doesn't smell great. It smells good. It's got a root beer smell to it, but it's also got kind of a pepper smell. Hmm, but not a overpowering. Recently, I, I posted a, a taste a, a, a review of Bedford's root beer, which when you open it up, it smells so great, I almost want to wear it like a cologne. This kind of has a root beer barrel, like a generic root beer barrel uh, smell to it. It's good. Not outstanding, not great, but good. Let's give it a try. Okay, I just belched a little, <laughs> and then I also have the taste. Root beer is supposed to have a strong aftertaste. Uh, the other day I was drinking A&W, and A&W actually has a great af root beer aftertaste. Um, Dr. Brown's doesn't have a strong root beer taste. I even kind of belched to induce a uh, pungent root beer taste. Um, Dr. Brown, it's a good root beer, but after trying so many other root beers, I may be a little bit spoiled at this point. Um, you know, the most I can muster for this one is eh. It doesn't really have a um, strong head on it. Uh, root beer is supposed to have foam. That's kind of what makes root beer so great when you get foam. This doesn't have hardly any foam. Root beer, when you open it up, is supposed to have a fizzy you know, sound to it. This one doesn't really. I bought two of these yesterday. I'm going to drink both of them whenever I'm in the mood for root beer. Dr. Brown's is not a bad root beer, and I, I will drink it again. But, uh... It's got some good carbonation, and it does have a decent to fair root beer taste, uh, but doesn't have any other f sort of flavor, and nor is that pure hard root beer. Uh, there's a root beer based out of Wyoming called Bunkin Root Beer that just has a pure, strong root beer taste to it. This one does not. So I think all I can do is rate this a fair root beer for the uh, root beer enthusiast out there. Uh, for everybody else that just wants a good root beer to go with their sandwich, this root beer is going to be fine, but quite frankly, A&W is going to be fine too. 
uh, or you know barks will be better so we'll, you know mugs or whatever so the best I can say is this is a fair root beer to to a good root beer but mostly the fair root beer so hey they can't all be great root beer, uh, root beer reviews thank you very much for your time and keep drinking root beer